All right, guys, this is a very exciting um, unboxing for myself because a lot of people have been finding Earthrise, and uh, I recently just found um, Grapple and Starscream um, at one of my Walmarts that I usually uh, shop at. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, it just feels so nice to actually have this in my hands. Here's the barcode if anybody needs it. Um, as you can see they got a really nice uh, artwork on here. Very nice. And all around, I don't, I heard that there's no plastic ties that like constricts him into the plastic where you have to cut him out. Um, and yeah, I think so. I don't see anything. I don't even, I didn't even check the star screen to see if that had it. Um, I just got this, uh, for now. There was no deluxes, no leader class, um, and here's some, uh, Earthrise, uh, artwork. I guess we're getting a side swipe. I know the photo of, uh, Trailbreaker has got released. Maybe a new hound. Um, um, th hopefully Bumblebee's, um, like a Walgreens exclusive. That'd be cool. Um, here's the back. Um, I probably would get this little guy, this little ramp. Um, probably not getting ironworks. Um, maybe not even hoist. Um, but, uh, here's, uh, any other information. Uh, let me get this guy opened. right here okay all right and yeah actually unfortunately I got a box that has a uh, you know somebody sliced it with a uh, like a worker slice with a box cutter to open up the case but um let's see I don't want to damage it the packaging opening it <sighs> Oh, oh yeah, that comes with this little decoder. I don't think I'm going to open the decoder. You see that red decoder? Yeah, it's supposed to decode like some kind of map that's in there. And you like put all the maps together. So, I have no idea. Um, I think it's really cool. But I'm not too big on that. Not big enough to buy all the figures. But, uh... <laughs> wow. And yeah, he looks kind of yellow through the camera. He's really not... Not really. Uh, I guess to get his... Claw thing out. Okay. Hopefully it's not too, um, crazy of a noise. Oh, okay. That one just shut out somewhere. Uh... Oh, well, that went somewhere, so I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what that went. Get his legs out. Mm -hmm. hmm. How am I supposed to get this out? His uh, gun went. Hmm. 
Oh, here it is. I see it. Okay. And I dropped it. Okay. Get that out of the way. I actually don't even know which worse. Oh, trying to ply these figures out of that thing or cutting the ties. Uh, but, wow, he looks amazing. Just the details alone. Very G1. I think that's, that's kind of why I'm drawn to this thing. And holy, oh, it's just so streamlined with the legs. I actually like it a lot. And yeah, I got to sand down some pegs. Um, I'm probably going to look at a Larkin uh, layers review on them and uh, see what he uses. But he does come with this gun. Kind of looks like Eight Faces gun a little bit. And I'm sure you could just tap it here. And he has a bunch of uh, ports. Hmm. Doesn't he come with... Oh yeah, okay, here we go. I know when I was looking at him in the video, I didn't think he came with any weapons. Because <laughs> I couldn't see any. Um... I guess I need to fold that this way. But, uh, sure enough, he does come with all his weapons. So you just can't really see him that good in the packaging. Adjust the camera. And this thing, I don't really like this thing that much. Um, just because you can't really. I don't know. It just comes. I guess you could put it stored up here. But, um, let me see how that looks. And I can put the gun, kind of like what T-Man did, I guess. I think he had it this way, or something. But, um, I mean, that doesn't look that bad. Let's see. I did bring this guy out just to see the colors and um, looking at off screen and on screen it, it does look like the same type of uh, plastic or at least orange very close so um, if you want to use rung with your uh, grapple you could just put it on any of these ports which is pretty cool And I have these effect pieces just lying around. Um, and yeah, they still... They still do that stuff. Um, here's a funny thing. This is a Jetfire... Um, see Jetfire uh, arm... Uh, armor? <laughs> and I never knew this before. I knew this. I know this. For a long time now, but I don't think I never showed it off on video. You can actually separate this piece in the shield. It's kind of tight to do, so just be careful. But they do separate. And this does look like a decent shield. Um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I think. I don't know, I, don't, I never remember seeing any reviewer do all that, like noticed it, so I don't know. But uh, for some size compared, because this is already a long video. Um, I brought out, he's not the greatest figure, but I do like the head sculpt a lot. Here is a... Uh, Power of the Prime's Inferno. And Grapple is very short compared to him a little bit. And who else do I have? Here's a Siege Ratchet. So. 
um, take these people away, and, yeah, um, everything feels pretty cool, like, no loose joints or anything, um, I did hear that there was, like, no screws at all on this figure, and, um, no, there's none at all, just a bunch of, uh, pens and stuff. Um, so good thing that everything's tight, because with a screw, you could just screw, uh, like, screw it in harder, or tighter, whatever. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If y'all do, please click, like, please click that like button. It really helps a lot. And if you want to see more... Then don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.